right, we're back with another episode. We're going to the Ninja Bass Pro Shop. How racist can I be? Uh, at least wait for the 10 minute mark. <laughs> I, I, I can't do that. I might have to go. <laughs> might have to record <laughs> multiple versions go. of this episode. <laughs> the best ten minutes is beep 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 beep. beep, beep. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. this is going to be uh, a not so fun episode. Not so fun episode. No, because it's uh, a lot of uh, water stuff. We are we are bow fishing right now, so this is the Bass Pro Shop mm -hmm. episode. Yeah, it'll be wild. You tell me I have to wait 10 minute mark. I can't wait for you to drop the end bomb for the next 30 seconds. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so there's a video where they're talking about ancient manatees, and one of them is earth manatees, elephants. And one of them they thought was aquatic. It's basically like an ancient uh, manatee. And then she said, so no aquatic elephants that we know of. And I was like, I replied to the YouTube video, and I was like, oh, manatees are essentially aquatic elephants, because they're staring. The closest living land, land relative are elephants, and uh, someone was like, "That's like saying a deer is a skinny woodland elephant." And I'm like, "Just because they're both ruminants, like they're not that close, like man." Are elephants like, even ruminants? I think they are. I don't uh, think so. They not. Let me see this. I'm, they I'm, do. They must be. They I'm do pretty eat sure grass. because tapirs are not ruminants either. Elephants. Oh, no, they are the ants. Elephants have to eat way too much to be ruminants. There we go. That's not, no, that's, like, not that's why. Because ah. then they can ferment the grass. Ah. No, no, I, I'm pretty sure they're not because they don't get you know, full you're right, digestion. Man, they're actually carnivores that hunt. hunt no, 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 no. Yeah, they're not ruminants. <laughs> yeah, I told you. I win biology for today. Yeah. So deer aren't even like they're so distantly related from elephants. Yeah, they're they're they're, they're more they're more elephants. closely related to yaks because they've got fur. Yeah, good yeah. Andrew, I'm gonna make the argument that elephants are already aquatic. I mean, that's why they have a snorkel. Yeah, they have a snorkel. True. That's probably how. True. They, that's probably what happened. With Oh, this is the missile bots. Andrew, are you trying to tell me manatees uh, were the ones mammals that went into water? Yeah, that's how mammals... Well, that's how aquatic mammals work. They would have had to have returned to the water. Counter-evolution. They're counter-evolutionaries. Yeah, they, they're... Uh, they're uh, uh, all right, our race. first our first combat instance. Oh, manatees literally the meme of return to fish. Oh god damn it! Yeah. <laughs> Give it long they enough. They were like, man, they were right. We should have gone back. Yeah. Yeah. Come out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> they they eventually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> After a million years, and like we're now we're now down to just multi cellular oh, <laughs> What's my what's my money situation? Fourteen thousand, not too bad. Ghost piranhas. Whoa. Ow. Uh, Andrew, that's not true. The air is thick with my asthma. It's like swimming for What? No, they're just ghosts. No, that's one of those videos uh, from forever ago. Oh, I don't want to accident accidentally use that. Well, the reason why Charlie didn't get on is he's playing Fortnite with Dan and Dan's Discord. Wait, why does Dan have his own Discord? Is it because you guys Dan bully him too much? No, it's because he has his own friendship group. group. And also he left it bad. one. Oh. Wait, well, one, the only person he plays video games with left. Ah, never mind. Well, didn't leave. No, he, play with with he doesn't want to play with you. I'm in his Discord. <laughs> well... <laughs> ah. This is like the most boring combat chapter, but we do fight a good boss at the end. Andrew, what kind of fish do you think these are? Uh, They've got giant lobster claws. They have big lobster claws, but they don't have a shell. 
Oh, no. oh. Unless the shell is in the turtle, but then that would be a different group of animals. Um, it's clearly a hermit crab. They don't have an extra shell from them, they can't be ultra crabs. Oh, they might have an extra shell, but they might be arthropods. Sea scorpions. <laughs> the correct answer is it's just a demon. Just a demon. Everything here are demons. Well, I'm going Ooh, to bed. I think I missed this gold mug last time. <laughs> See you later, Aldi. No, wait, Scarab, he's gone. An arthropod, I can be confident of. That is an arthropod. <laughs> <laughs> no, Patrick. <laughs> Scarab is not not an arthropod. No, they are. So arthropod is. I said not of... not. Oh, it's not, a double not, negative. Yeah. Arthropod is the. Ow! Come on, come on, get up! So when you get hit, you, uh, you fall in the water and have to swim back up and get hit. Yeah. So it sucks. Water levels less universally suck in every game. But they're nowhere near as bad as this because you have auto aim when you're in the air with your bow and you can run like on water. People forgive the fucking opening level of Twilight Princess when you're running through the sewers as a dog man and it's just fucking terrible. Alright, we, instead of learning the secret ninja freezing technique to uh, swim underwater forever, we, we just found an oxygen cylinder. Yeah. He found scuba gear. I will say it takes balls to start your game in the sewer level, though. I'll True. Give Nintendo credit where it's due. It was a bad decision, but it took balls. <laughs> I've forgotten so much about Twilight Princess except for fat goblin ass. <laughs> There's That's a lot of it in that opening sequence. That and the bug girl. The one who really likes bugs. Talks about them crawling all over her. She's a freak. Freak of the week. That was that was her part of the game, was just her saying something freaky about bugs every week. Elephants are incapable of trotting, jumping, or galloping. Yes. To be fair, their ankles are undersized on their feet. True. And also they're like in the middle of their foot. Yeah, they've got that weird like sound absorbing pad. Thing. Yeah. So they can detect infrasound from long distances. Oh, look at this camera. Look, Andrew, look at this camera. Uh, it also dampens the noise that they make and reduces the impact. They are capable swimmers. I did know this. Unlike the hippopotamus, uh, the elephant actually can swim. <laughs> yeah, can swim. Yeah. The, uh,. The, there's a death site where it's the only time we've found evidence of another animal killing a cave bear. Oh. A short, short face bear was a, like a woolly mammoth that got trapped in like essentially like a sinkhole opened up on this riverbank and they fell into the water. Mm. And so the short face bear now we're sure it was a scavenger based on evidence like this. Went over trying to get a piece of meal, and the woolly mammoth was a little more alive than he thought. And the fucking woolly mammoth must have whacked it full force with its trunk on its skull as hard as it could. <laughs> it knocked it out and it drowned. Yeah, well, I think it, it probably died from like brain shock. From what first trauma? Yeah, it's crazy. It's like the only evidence we have of it, like uh, anything killing it. Killed. Yeah. Wow. Because anything else where we found it, we can tell that the bones and things like that were broken after it died, because we've gotten really good at that. Uh, we have scavenged, humans scavenged on them also. You would not have tried to fight them. They fucking stood up to 12 feet tall on their hind legs. They were monsters. With uh, <laughs> extra long claws, too. Yeah. It's really funny, because the discovery that they couldn't have been predators, it was just like after years and years of people saying this is like the biggest apex predator that's ever lived, they were like, its bones and its legs are too thin for it to make turns when it's chasing something. Which And horses will make turns when they're running. Which yes. means that it would have broken its ankle if it tried to chase a horse. It would have never been horses. able to start for the Lakers. Yeah. 
So what it, what they probably did was, because they can smell for miles, they, they had a better sense of smell than black bears, we assume, because they had larger nasal, nasal cavities. Huge graphical glitch Little. time. Yes. I don't know why it's got such a huge problem, just specifically right here trying to show us uh, a nice panning shot of the scenery underwater, but the camera clips into the background or something. So they they realized that what they probably did, and because they could oh, so no. far, they probably moved their legs the way that camels do, and that allowed it to like jog for hours nonstop. So it could jog over to a food source, and then if something else was eating it, like a pack of wolves, then it would walk, rock up to it and stand up on its hind legs and scare them off, and if it didn't scare them off, if it was just a standing fight, you could beat the shit out of anything. <laughs> Fra fragrance of Dayflower? What does that do? I'm, I'm seeing items I've never seen before, because it's the first time I've played Sigma on Master, so I have no idea what's going on. It's just emotions. Yeah. We are going to do, uh, we're backtracking right now, we're going to do an arena. So let's see what also, that item we, we think that they had the short face to increase, like, the angle of, uh... Oh. The, the lever when they bite on something, so if they can crack open bones and get to marrow in case they got to the blade, then it was ideal. Yeah. They had to eat a lot. Yeah. Comes with the, uh... Territory being 12 feet tall and yeah. built like a barrel. Imagine a 12 foot tall gorilla. The only thing it probably hunted was giant sloths. Because giant sloths wouldn't have run away, they would have tried to stand their ground. I don't know, but okay, not like the actual giant ground sloth that's also like 12 feet tall and has no, like yeah, that. three foot long claws. Yeah. How's the short-faced bear going to stand up in a fight against that thing? Like short one claw swipe. bear line. is, I think, a couple feet taller, and it would have had a better angle at its neck. It was, I think, the bear's So it, if it got to its neck, it would have lost. Oh no, this might not count. There's no score display. Oh, come on, he was just out of range. I may have come down here for no reason. Oh, I already did this. I don't need to come here. I just... That's a big time loss. And I did not hit the same spot. So I just have to eat this time loss. No. More time loss from command grab. Teach the Pescatology Shabazz. class. Malcolm X Shabazz High School. In New York. It's a little far from me. Yo, that works. I think I may have find, found my new fastest way to kill these guys. Oh, that was close. Almost got also command grabbed again. Science is not a position I want. I want to biology. Wait, why are you teaching science in a high school? What kind of remedial ass shit is that? Uh, that's, yeah, general science is typically a remedial level. It also yeah. does not need the standards that are set by the state of the world that they're doing. It's fucking ridiculous, but whatever. Because you can't cover enough of the standards in biology alone in, like, a general science thing, so there's no way you're covering all of the physics and chemistry. Well, actually, biology is all that's required, technically. You're getting into some things here. Damn it. Biology is the only... Get you're required to take three sciences in the state of New Jersey. Only one of them has to be biology. I think you are expected to still have to meet the standards for the other sciences. But in most schools that even offer those programs are going to. 
So, this game is not actually completely linear, like the later Ninja Gaiden games. You do have this whole Legend of Zelda exploration thing going on. So, this area is accessible on multiple chapters in the game, and I did have the option to come here essentially multiple times, and I got a little bit of a time loss on one level, and now I don't get the bonus on this level of uh, getting all those extra kills and extra essence to pad out my score to get the uh, Master Ninja rank. So this might be a little tough. They've got these things called ambushes where it'll give you like 500 seconds to kill like 120 enemies on this difficulty. Right. It gets bad. There's one I cannot beat on these higher difficulty levels. Just because there's a there's a specific enemy that's almost impossible to fight two on one. That becomes even more impossible to fight three on one because the only way you can fight him is to guard and then hit counters on every time he hits. But he has an AOE uh, fireball move that uh, summons at your feet as a trap. So the other two will just constantly pop that AOE move on you while you're stuck and can't do anything. Otherwise, they, they essentially block every attack you send them. So there's just one arena I won't do because I already got the achievement for doing all of them. And uh, that particular arena on this difficulty setting has a timer that is 4,600 seconds long. That's, an, that's like almost an hour and a half. Yo, where'd you go? What? I'm right here. Oh. So there is a there's an hour and a half long battle you can fight. Yeah, this is this is one of the best ways I think though to do a water level is to let you swim back through another area of the game that you've already been through. And find secrets. Yeah, this game has like Indiana Jones parts, all these James Bond parts. Long. All right, we're going spear fishing. There you go, Andrew. You can get a better look here. So their bodies are partially segmented. So, but they have fish fins. They're demonic crawfish, is what they are. Yeah. And I didn't clear the instance in time because one of them hit me. <sighs> We're going to go do uh, stuff that sucks. I really should go save before I do this because I don't want to do all that swimming over again. Yeah, the save point is at the end of this tunnel you have to swim down. So when you're fighting one of the worst bosses in the game and one of the tougher um, ambushes in the game, you have to swim all the way out this tunnel every time. Hitting continue makes your uh, clear time longer on the chapter, and all it does is take you back to the last save point. Got to change my weapons and everything before the instance starts. All right. Cat 
girls and ninjas again. Oh, there were no ninjas this time. Alright, which way is a combination? Is it left, right? Oh, jeez. Right, 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 right. Okay, it's left, left, right, left. Easy. Let's go. Orb acquired. They do give you enough that you can get them all. Or you can upgrade all of your magic in this. Mm. So it doesn't, you don't really have to worry about choosing which one you give it for. Okay, I think there is another fight in here. And no, it, it didn't trigger a score. Oh, shit. Well, I still have all my health and I've got money. All right, time to go fight the real boss. We're not reading any books. Those are for nerds. Platforming is really difficult in this game. He uh, can't turn around as quickly as you normally expect in games, so you have to, if you change direction that you're running, you have to wait. Wait for him to actually start going in that direction exactly before you do your jump. But you can roll in that direction. So you can roll before your jump. But uh, you can't change. You can't change the direction of your jump at all. It just goes straight. You're you're stuck with that jump, whatever it does. <laughs> if you just hop off the ground, you can move it a little, which lets you. If you hop off the ground, you can move a little. So, like, if you want to jump off a ledge, you can do that. Yeah. This. Sorry, my my seasonal allergy. We're going to exploit explosive arrows to help with the mooks on this boss. I found out there's Ugandan pro wrestling. No way. Yeah, they don't have a real ring, they fight in dirt. <laughs> they have ropes that aren't taut at all, it's kind of funny. Amazing. They call it soft ground wrestling. They're not bad, it's amateurish, but it's like, it's not that much worse than like AEW. <laughs> That's a pretty bad mark against AEW. Yeah. You have a better understanding of wrestling and psychology than Tony Khan, though, so at least that. They got back home. You're not the only one with an explosive projectile. Oh shit! No, why that? Dude, he is just spamming with that saber throw. No, I did not want to pick up that essence because that's how you use ultimates. Got him. 
and I got him within the time limit. Yeah! He's one of the only... He's not that hard as a boss because he's one of the only ones that doesn't uh, block your ultimate. <laughs> <laughs> he just said pitiful woman. It's not that funny. I thought it. I just think it's funny to be like making fun of you for beating him, and then he's like, also, this your girlfriend's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's an easy master clear. I don't know. I don't know, though, because of the time. No, that's master. If you if you see all of those numbers pop up, you, you've won. Yo, let's go. <laughs> let's fucking go. All right, I will save that and see everybody in the next episode. This has been featuring Sforlord. He's pretty cool.